Well, it is July 11th. Uh, I'm going to check on the garden now. Um, July 11th is a special date. That's um, 25 years since my father passed away. Um, long time. I know he would um, be proud of the four of us kids and mom for carrying on and um, hope he's proud of my garden and um, smiling down on us. So let's, let's take a look at the garden. Uh, first off, we've got corn. Um, we are going to break some corn just here now in a few minutes. Um, still got a few more ears remaining. This may be the last of it. So we may break all of it today. Um, Charleston Gray Watermelons still doing wonderfully. Still looking good. Um, you have the one on the end that's a little on the small end. So, but I still think they're all working on trying to make. Uh, Mom says she did get over two inches of rain yesterday. I hope the rain doesn't hurt either um, these melons or the others. Um, but can't control that. Uh, cantaloupes. Cantaloupes are looking really good. I'm really starting to get impressed with those. I know I counted the other day and there was like three or four little melons on here now. So a little bit dirty from the um, from the rain but they are starting to show up. So uh, tomatoes. Oh, we are still getting some tomatoes. Uh, got the green ones here. We do have a few red ones here. Little cherry tomatoes. So should be getting some of those maybe today. Um, we are getting some cucumbers as well. So that's a wonderful thing. Um, not sure there's any on that bush, but we'll, we'll take a look. More tomatoes. Um, Jubilee watermelons are still looking wonderfully. Wow. Tomatoes, I think the tomatoes are struggling with the, between the heat and the rain and Especially when we get those big, big amounts of rain like we did yesterday. I'm not sure they like that too much. Um, we do have a couple of nice sized tomatoes. I think we'll be getting them soon. Um, so, we will get them. Ah, a big watermelon is still growing. Still looking good. I haven't seen any more of the small dead ones that are dying on the vine so hopefully whatever caused them to die with me we're already beyond that alrighty well that's it for the moment and we'll go check on the other garden in a minute Okay, apparently I had some technical difficulties. I set my camera 
on the wrong speed so those uh, last couple of videos didn't um, didn't have any sound with them and they ran too fast um, what it was um, had a pan of about 28 ears of corn I did break it all and even pulled up all the stocks um, also um, with the garden behind the shed um, I was saying it was doing pretty well um, it is I think with the shade it was kind of hurting it in the beginning now with all the heat um, I believe it's actually helping that garden so it's looking better the plants are actually looking healthier than the ones out in the open and uh, it's um, starting to put on some tomatoes um, and some blooms so maybe we'll get a little bit out of that garden um, also uh, throw a little bonus footage mom wanted me to show the hummingbirds so i'm going to show you a little bonus footage on the uh on the hummingbirds too so we're going to try watching the hummers there's two on there now one just took off mom has two of the hummingbird feeders and she says they've been swarming she's seen five and six at a time on the on the feeders so we're going to watch for a few minutes, see what we see. Still only one. Of course, they won't, they won't swarm when we're watching them and wanting to see. They don't know you're watching them. Looks like pretty small. There you go. There's a few. There's another Got one, one on the, on swing, the swing. swing and two, two on the feeder. That's cute one on the swing, isn't it? Yeah. There's one over on the other. Yeah, that's, it just flew over there, the one that was on the swing. Okay. Oh, that's so. Now we're getting them swimming yeah. a little bit. Boss. Boss hog. So we'll, we'll call this bonus video. Huh? <laughs> we'll call this bonus video. As always, um, thanks for watching the videos. Uh, we'll try to keep you abreast of what's going on. And uh, thanks for tuning in.